Hey everybody, today is January 31st and it has been about three weeks since the last video. The plants are doing great. They're not growing as fast as I would like and I mentioned that before. The reason they're not growing as fast as I would like is because they're sitting in my garage so the temperature is not constant. During the evening it can get quite chilly when the light and the heat mat is off. So if you follow my season from last year, you notice that these are going to be a little bit slower than the one from last year. But uh, they're doing great and many of these have started to sprout roots to the bottom of the container. What I'm going to do today is show you how I feed my plants. These are ground cherry, some of these larger plants. Uh, as you can see, they started to develop true leaves. So if you take a few of these out and look under the cup, you will notice that they have roots sprouting out. So let's take a look at one of them. You see there? Those are tiny roots there. I have started to feed these already, so let's get one that I haven't. Let's take this one here. And there are roots there. So as you can see, there's nothing here. So what we're gonna do here is I'll move it so let's move the camera here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so the nutrients I'm using is the General Hydroponic Flora Series. And uh, all you have to do is mix it according to the instruction, do the all-purpose, which is uh, 5 milliliter of each for 1 gallon of water, pH 5.9 to 6.5 in between there. And here's how I feed it. I just give it a little bit of just that much because the plant is not big yet so just a few little drop of water and then when you put the container back the root will slightly touch the bottom there and it will drink that amount of water up pretty quick here's another one you see those roots there so that is the perfect time so you always try to feed the plants what they need so don't over fertilize just give it a little bit that should be enough. And you will continue to water on top for the time being because uh, you want to keep the, the plant, the, the soil moist around this area and the nutrients you're going to feed it down here. So you still want this part to be moist, nice and fluffy soil so that the roots can, can crawl and expand downward and the, when it has more roots growing down here it is going to drink a lot more so you'll feed it more so um, I'll take you along as we go but uh, that's all for now and uh, I'll keep this going so you can see what's going on and how fast these will grow alright guys today is January 5th and it has been exactly five days since I fed some of my plants hydroponic nutrients to the bottom of the cup and you can actually notice very good progress within such short amount of time. So let me show you a few and you can come back to early in the video and compare it. Uh, these are the ground cherry five days after feeding hydroponic nutrients and it's starting to expand pretty wide and grow nicely and that's one of my other plants that I fed the nutrients that one as well and a few there in the back and then these here as well these have been fed hydroponic nutrients and that ground cherry is taking off like crazy so as soon as you start to feed these hydroponic nutrients you're gonna start to notice uh, progress very very fast and within little time your plants are gonna grow very well and you're gonna start to be amaze at the progress but uh, again let me show you the feeding process and let me show you something new that I learned from some of the comments that people posted okay here we go and as I mentioned in the first video where you use I, I said square cup but I, I actually meant the square bottom and inside the round bottom so when you put it like this you have a really nice gap and some of the viewers suggested that if you don't have uh, different size cups or whatever, you can just put a, a pebble at the bottom of the cup and that would give you a good space as well. Look at these roots. 
the, the nutrients that really force these guys to come out very, very quickly. So let's feed a few of these so you can see what I do. Here it is. And there's my little pebble there at the bottom. And all you have to do is just fill the, the cup to the top of the pebble slightly. Not too much because you don't want the plants to be over water. So that's it. When the cup lays on top of the pebble, there's a little gap at the bottom. And then the roots will come down and drink the water up. But um, these grow really fast when you do this. So try it out. And I will continue to show more progress as we go along and uh, all the way throughout the season. So keep following the video. And uh, always uh, thank you for all those suggestions that I have learned from you guys. And uh, I hope that you picked up something new from uh, my videos. Alright, thank you for watching.